Good day and welcome back to the Super Data Science YouTube channel. In our previous episode, we looked at the slope chart and today we are focusing on the dumbbell chart. Now, just like the slope chart, the dumbbell chart is excellent for comparing two or more values in your dimension across two discrete time periods. Now, the slope chart is however limited um, optimal to work optimally with two to three values when you're comparing, but this limitation is removed when using a dumbbell chart you are able to use multiple dimensions and almost an endless number of values to be, to be distinguished. Now, on top of that, it's easy to see the distribution and the difference in the change of the specific measure. Do stay tuned. This is not a very difficult chart type, but a really good one to know and to know how to create it within Tableau. Let's however first start by looking at the data that we're using. Today's data is a Excel file, it's called GDP per capita, and it's only got a few fields. Now, we've got the country name, a country code, as well as the region and the income group. Now, this information and classification that we got was all from, uh, well, was all obtained from the World Bank data. And um, you'll see that we've got the GDP per capita for each of these countries, and you can see there's quite a lot of them, basically all countries in the world. We've got the data from 1960 up to 2017 every year. Now, there are obviously some gaps in the data where the data wasn't available, so we will be expecting some nulls in our data when we work with it. But for now, let's jump into Tableau. Right, so if we start off with a fresh instance of Tableau, we connect to the Excel file and by selecting the GDP per capita file. Tableau will import it correctly, and we do know that um, we do not want the years in each of the columns, we actually want them as rows. So we can simply select all of the column names or all the columns for each of the years and click pivot. This will pivot our data and create a new line for every year. We just need to change obviously the um, column names as well. We'll call this year and we'll call this GDP per capita and that is in dollar. Let's just put the dollar value as or the dollar symbol as well. So then we can go to our sheet. As mentioned, this is not a very difficult chart, so let's get right at it. We will take this uh, GDP per capita, put that into our columns. That will be automatically aggregated with using a sum. And we'll take the country name and put that into rows. Now, we want to see this as a circle chart. So, well, we'll change it to a circle chart to create the dumbbell effect. And um, this, well, using, just changing to a circle chart and using these dimensions and measure, we will basically get one item which is aggregated for all years um, per country. Now we know we don't want that, so we also need to include here. But you'll see that the year was um, in, well, read in as a normal string field, and we can just change that to a date because we want to use it as a date field. Well, then to basically break this up and to see it by here, we'll take this year and put that into detail. And then we'll have a point for each year. But we only wanted to compare two years. So let's put that into filter as well. And let's filter by year. I'll just untick all of them and we can just use two of them. Let's use 2007 and 2017. Now we can see that we've got two different values. Let's put the year into color actually so we can see which year is the start and which is the end. So we can see by default Tableau puts the blue as 20, 2007 and 2017 as the orange. So you can see how it has changed. Some countries only have one value because we don't have, might not have a value for 2017 as we can see for Bermuda for instance. Um, and some countries might have nothing. So if we do scroll down, you might see that some countries don't even have anything in there. And that's also why we end up with these nulls over here. For the purposes of today, I'm just going to click on that and select filter data to remove all of those, all the ones that have no values. It will still have the Bermuda with only one value, for instance. All right, so next we want to put the line between the two different dots. And that's simple, very easy as well. We'll just create a dual axis chart. So we'll duplicate this measure by holding down control and dragging it next to itself, selecting the dual axis from the drop down. And as always, don't forget to right click your axis and select synchronize measures. Now, you can see that now we've got, if I just click on the all, we've got two different charts. Well, they're exactly the same at the moment, but we are able to um, select on the first one and change the chart up to a line because we are looking for the line between the two dots. By selecting it like this, Tableau thinks we want a normal line chart, which is not the case. And we need to change the path to actually make the path not from a value from a value to the next, but actually a value to the same in the same country. So we'll take this year in color and just move that to path. 
So because we don't need the specific color and immediately it would connect the dots well basically for each country so all the values for each country and we only have the two because of the filter all right it is a bit um yeah i can i say congested in here and there's a lot of information on this chart so what i'll do is i will just include also the income group as a filter and we can just say show filter as well as the region show filter and this way we can also give some interactivity for our user i'll just move these across here and also change these to single value lists now this way we can easier compare what we want to see, for instance. So if we focus, for instance, on all the East Asia, Asia and Pacific countries, we can easily see, as I mentioned at the start, the distribution. Some countries have a lower GDP per capita, um, these ones over here. Others have much larger, but it's interesting also that the larger ones also had a lot of change in the last, well, the last 10 years of our data between 20, 2007 and 2017. As you can see China there, for instance. Um, it might also happen that we have a negative growth or yeah, negative change in GDP. So as you can see here for Brunei, but um, in, in fact, it has from 2007 decreased to 2017. So the, the, the sequence of the colors also indicate which way it has changed. And, this, and using filters like this, it's much easier to s scroll between different regions or select all regions, but perhaps specific income group to see if there are any anomalies that you can expect or see that has happened in your data. So a super helpful chart and really easy to create. And that also concludes our tutorial for today. I hope you had fun in this short tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this and hope you're going to try it as well. And do stay tuned because we have some more charts and tutorials coming up. Until we meet each other next time, happy analyzing.